Hi guys, it's Kendra here. So today I filmed a tutorial for you guys using the Amrezy palette and I'm super excited to be using this palette because y'all don't know how long it took Kelsey and I to find this palette. We didn't want to order it online because we didn't want to pay for shipping and I just didn't feel like waiting for it to get here and it would just be easier to go in the store to get it, right? So Ulta, our Ulta was taking so long to get it back in stock because the first week that it came out pretty much it was sold out the whole week and I kept calling and calling and about a week ago we went in Ulta like randomly and it was there. It was like three left but Kelsey and I got like two and then it was one left so I was super excited when I got it and I just wanted to film any look with it. I was just super excited to sit down and play with it. And today I just did like a really pretty like glam smoky eye with like a pop of color at the bottom. And you guys the colors in here are so pigmented. They're like gorgeous like it's like perfect for travel and it has like all the essential colors in here and like the really pretty pops of color like the green and the purple today i used the purple as the pop of color and i'm just obsessed with this palette it's only like 29 dollars, so that was a steal already and this is just gorgeous like if you don't have this palette you need it in your life like seriously and um as far as the purple underneath the eye you guys know purple is my favorite color so anytime i get to use purple I'll use it and I think purple goes really really pretty with brown eyes and it just makes brown eyes pop. Anybody can wear this look but I just think it's really pretty with brown eyes and this is like a really more fun way to wear a smoky eye if you want to add some color and be a little different and not wear like a typical neutral smoky eye. So I thought this was really pretty but still like soft and wearable. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. So first I'm going to be taking my BH Cosmetics Studio Eye Primer to prevent any creasing. Then I'm going to be using this MAC Studio Finish Concealer to cancel out any discoloration. So as my transition colors I'm going to be using Caramel and Morocco and blending those together. the color deep plum and applying that to my outer corner and a little bit in my crease and creating a v-shape of Morocco I'm gonna be blending that deep plum color out a little bit more next I'm gonna be taking glisten and applying that all over the lid I love this color this is like the perfect lid color is like a pretty rosy champagne this is like one of my favorite colors in the palette then I'm going to be taking vanilla and applying that to my brow bone as my highlight and for my inner tear duct color I'm going to be using legend Rimmel waterproof cold pencil and applying that to my waterline. Then for liquid liner, I'm going to be taking this Lorac Front of the Line Pro liquid liner. iridescent purple and applying that to my lower lash line. I love this purple. It's like a pretty blue tone purple. Moving on to the face, I'm going to be taking my Hourglass Mineral Bell Primer and applying that all over my face. And I know this looks kind of ashy. I have no idea why, but I guess it's the formula of the primer. Then for foundation, I'm going to be taking my Lancome Taint Idol 24 Hour Foundation. This is a very orange tone foundation, I know, but it blends out beautifully and I like 
that is really warm tone and it doesn't make me look ashy. For concealer, I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro HD Concealer and applying that under my eyes as a highlight. going to be taking my Neutrogena powder and then also putting a little bit on my forehead, my nose, and on my chin to highlight that area as well. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to be taking my Makeup Forever Dual Matte Powder and going over the concealer also to blend everything out and make everything look even. For blush, I'm going to be using Max Love Thing. To highlight my cheeks, I'm going to be using my Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Illumination. Then for lips, I'm going to be using Max Cream in Your Coffee. with Gerard Cosmetics Color Your Smile Lip Gloss and Coral Craze. So that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.